Hi friends, welcome back. In this chapter, we are going to incorporate the clock skew in our setup and hold timing equations. And we will see how the clock skew impacts the setup and hold equations. So let's get started. So here, first, we are going to take the positive clock skew. So first, let's understand what is positive clock skew. So as you already know, this is our capture flop. This is our launch flop. And this is our capture flop. So the data is always launched by the launch flop and it is captured later, ideally one clock cycle by the capture flip flop. Okay. So if you see in the waveforms, this is the clock one, which is corresponding to the register one flop, or this is nothing but our launch flop. This is the launch edge, and this is the clock two of our capture flip flop and the clock edge at which the data is captured is nothing but this and this is our capture edge. So here if you see there is a delay between clock 1 and clock 2 which is nothing but T skew and this is coming because of the delay present between clock 1 and clock 2 point. Okay. So ideally data is launched at this clock edge and now it will get captured by the next clock edge of clock clock 2 which is here okay so if you see this ideally when there is no clock skew we saw that data is launched at this clock edge and it is captured so there is no clock skew so this edge will be basically coming here and this will be coming here so the data is captured at this clock edge but once there is a clock skew, the capture clock has shifted by the T skew time and now the capture edge is coming here. So, actually speaking, the delay between the capture data and the launch data or the delay between the launch and the capture point has increased by T skew time. Now, let's see how this T skew will come in our calculation of setup and hold equations and how it will impact the setup and hold timing constraints. So now with positive clock skew. So ideally speaking here positive clock, this is positive clock skew because the delay is getting increased between launch and, and capture flip flop. Okay. So that is why this is positive clock skew and you have to remember that in positive clock skew case. So this is the data flow, right? And the clock is also going from register 1 or from launch flop to the capture flop. So the delay is getting introduced in this path. So both the data flow and the clock directions are in the same in the same way. So the clock skew introduced in this case is nothing but a positive clock skew. Now let's see with positive clock skew how setup equation and hold equations will be impacted. So as you saw in our previous chapter where we derived the setup on hold equations without incorporating the clock skew, our setup equations was this one. Here just the red T skew, if we just remove the red T skew then whatever remaining is our setup equation. So the idea of setup equation is the total propagation delay when the data is launched and when it re reaches to the data input pin of the capture flip flop should be less than the clock path delay. So this the data is launched at this clock edge and it reaches at this uh, reaches at the capture flip flop at this clock edge. So this total propagation delay uh, total data propagation delay should be less than this clock period minus the T setup. So basically the data should reach before this point. Correct. Now here in the positive clock skew case, basically the clock has shifted by T skew time. So now our new point where the data should get captured will be this clock edge minus the T set minus T setup time. So here basically we have to include the clock skew in the required time. So our required time actually has increased by T skew time. Okay. So now the new setup equations will become clock to Q delay plus combinational delay should be less than clock period plus T skew minus T setup. So if you see here our clock period, if you rearrange this equation, our clock period will become greater than or equal to this value. So basically if you see here the clock period, 
the required clock period to meet the setup requirement has decreased by t sqi time. So if the clock period decreases, the frequency of operation of the design will increase. So basically with positive clock skew, our design can work at a higher frequency. So here the required time, required time has increased by t sqi time and the arrival time is going to be the same. Now the setup slack will be required time minus arrival time. So here the required time has increased that means our slack is going to be increased in a positive direction. So slack when it increases in the positive direction it is always better. So as I said since the required clock period with positive clock skew has decreased here by t skew time that means our design can work at a higher clock frequency and what we can conclude from here is positive skew improves the performance it basically improves our setup slack. So hope this is clear.